Uh, welcome, this is Lindy Hop One Week Five. And we, let's see, we did a bunch of stuff with variations on a theme. We started with uh, a, a new move for the Charleston called the Walking Steps. Just think sideways. Five, six, seven, eight, rock, step, step, step. Wait, step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, the details for that is, again, it's just the lead taking the body through the motions. Cues me. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Followers, I need to be not stepping ahead of my lead or I'll miss this. So lead, what's critical here is that the arm stays relaxed and you're just bringing it with you. Right? There's no reason that you have to tell the follower to step with your shoulder or your arm. It's just bring it with you. Step, step. And then we added on to, um, we did the he goes, no, she goes, he goes, which looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, and four, she goes, he goes. Um, I also forgot to mention we started out the class with doing a flourish for the followers, the twist, twist footwork. The twist, twist happens on one, two, so it looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, and you can use seven and eight to set it up. Seven and eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven and eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven and eight. It's still light, it's just the step, step, but it's twist, twist. You're still doing the weight change. One, two, one, Two, so weight change. Um, and you want to isolate that from your hand. We're not taking the lead through it. We're just doing one, two. Now that one kind of increases the stretch a little, but I'm not pulling on my lead. Um, then we did, uh, we did some starting exercise. Just a nice way to start the dance is side by side, really encouraged, and with weight changes. And it could be slow, so it could be quick. What we suggested was a pattern that would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, out to swing out, five, six, seven, and eight. This gives you a chance to know that you and your partner are in sync. We also did some work looking, listening to the music and counting the phrase, the eight counts of the music that fits with the dance. And your homework is to go home and listen to music and hear the counts of all sorts of different types of swing and jazz and blues. Uh, and then we did, I think uh, we, we just talked about, you know, we just talked about uh, the different places to face off. So taking all the moves we've done in the past week, you can alternate, like we may have started to move out and open, or we might have started to move side by side, and we encourage you to mix it up. So for example, we taught the outside turn or the free spin from here, but you can also do it from side by side, like this. One, two, in the face off, five, six, seven, and eight. So play around with that mixing in where you start things from. And that covers it. See you out on the dance floor.